Yep, that's right. Alerts are on their way out. They're retiring. They're about to bite the big one. But it doesn't all have to be bad. I'm going to show you how you can use rules, which is the replacement, to do a super cool thing and let you know when stuff inside a column changes. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. All right, let's get that timer rolling. All right, so the replacement for alerts is called rules. So we go to automate, we go to rules, we're gonna create a rule. We're gonna create a rule that's gonna let us know when something's modified. We're gonna say when an item is modified, if, let's say, the shoe size changes to anything at all from what it already is send an email to the person who created that particular thing and say something like whoop whoop a change was made all right create that puppy and then there you go you just did that thing so if you go in here and any one of these things changes, the size, the shoe size changes from nothing to something, something to nothing, any change is made there, you're going to get an email with that text. All right. Simple as that. So let's break it down and talk about what's really going on here. Before we do that, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Please click that bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available. We appreciate you. You help keep the channel going. That's right alerts going away you see that that look that's the look of not so excited about that because it can triple the amount of like rules that you have to create but that's neither here nor there all right so let's say that you need to know when list items change and more specifically you want to know if a particular column or field changes all you got to do is go into automate look for your really rule rules and we go to create a rule again this is the replacement for alerts the most simple replacement if this doesn't work for you or you need to do something with individual files you're going to have to resort to power automate you can see from the graphic here it's looking at looking at the fields looking at the column uh, information and you could say if a particular column changes you want to know now you don't have to go that route you could say if um, or you could say always rather, whenever anything about that particular list item or any particular list, li li <laughs> list item changes, you get an email. But for the purposes of this video, we're interested in that if condition. So basically, if we read through it, you'll see it. It, it makes total sense. When an item is modified, if, and you get to choose a column. So we could say this time t-shirt size changes and the new value is, we could say, is anything. We could enter a value, but see, this is a drop down. So this particular column is not a free text column. So it's going to give you the choices that are there in that choice column. So we could say medium, blah, 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 or goes to empty. So is anything. Um, the value is not going to work because this is a choice field um, is one of so we could say changes so that field changes and the new value is one of let's say medium or large or extra large or goes to empty or is that there's no more choices we'll type to add a new choice okay nice so I would believe that this would, um, I'm going to call it wow, which makes no sense there, but add wow. We're going to see if that gets added to the t-shirt size uh, choices. And then send an email to, we created it. Create, let's go look at our t-shirt size now. And we'll go ahead and see the column settings, edit. It should have the wow and really said it was adding it. Oh, well, let's go back and take a look at that because that was a little bit misleading. We're going to manage rules now. And what is this one here? T-shirt size. Yep, I think this is the one. Type of filter or add new choice. Well, you know what? Maybe it just does it for here. And I apologize, it doesn't add it to the choices in your choice column. There you go. If you want to add some text in there, you can do that. 
If you want to delete that bad boy, you can do that here. So again, alerts are retiring. Start switching over to rules right now so that you can be ready when you can no longer use alerts. With that, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. We appreciate you. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra.